earmarks. And both of them Olympians. I mean, we should be talking a lot more about them. Well, now we'll get a chance to do it here in the 200 backstroke. Both of them just doing great. BB Bacon swimming with a good Wisconsin team. Yuri Sugiyama doing a good job there with the Badgers. But I think this is going to be Claire Crescent. She looked beautiful this morning, Patrick. And when she went 147.4, remember that's 19 one hundredths of a second off the NCAA record. Only 27 one hundredths off the fastest time in history, which was set by Reagan Smith when she was in high school four years ago. You think that NCAA mark is in no quite? I mean, she's 19 one hundredths off of it just last month. So yeah, I definitely do. Roseanne in four, Stodden in lane six for Cal. Those are the two leaders. Just come to the halfway mark. 51-5 is the record split. Boy, she's way off of that now. 52-6. A little faster than she went this morning, but still off that record pace. She's going to have to put into a completely different gear if she's going to have a chance. And Isabel Stadden, another one that we haven't talked much about, but she's also had a fine NCAA final in the 100 backstroke. Take underwater there by Cruzan to reclaim the lead, but it's still Stadden right on her heels. Phoebe Bacon in between those two in the white cap. 50 yards to go. Well, if she if she comes home, she's 27-2 there. If she comes home at 27-2, she's going to break the record. Not sure she has that in her, but she's going to be close. Closer than I thought going out that first 100. There she goes. So here comes Claire Curzan in the clear. NCAA mark is 147.24. Curzan the champion adjustment. 147.64, national champion to the freshman from Cary, North Carolina for the Stanford Cardinal, Claire Curzan. Bacon finishes runner-up, Stodden third. Boy, she did it all in the back.